I'm very curious to go there because I want to be at that place where it all happened. And being in the room that Rembrandt was actually 400 years ago. We've been approached by the local tourist office to create an experience about Rembrandt in order to promote the figure of Rembrandt in his own city, Leiden. We have been dealing with two main factors. One is the history of Rembrandt, which everybody knows, and the facts. And the other factor is the fun factor, in order to attract, in order to address quite a broad range of people and bring them here. Not a lot of people know that Rembrandt, his story, started here in Leiden. He made also his biggest paintings in Amsterdam, of course, but it all started here in this building. He got here his lessons from Jacob van Zwanenburg. In this experience we will show the people what Jacob learned Rembrandt, what were his techniques, the pigments, the colors, what kind of stuff he used to build his beautiful paintings later on. My name is Jacob, Jacob van Zwanenburg. This is my studio here in Leiden. His name was Rembrandt, son of Harmen and Neeltgen van Rijn. Rembrandt had a small group of friends he regularly hung out with. Jan, Martin and Mary. With just 12 pigments, they could make hundreds of tints. Look at this! Amazing! Painting water realistically is very difficult. So I sometimes took them to a river and we painted sceneries featuring water. Painting light was an important skill. To practice this, I instructed them to paint fire. After three years, Rembrandt stopped attending my classes. I would have liked to have caught up with him again and asked him how life had treated him. I think it's a strange thing that, well, he became so famous and that his first teacher didn't know that. And that must have been strange for Jacob van Zwanenburg as well, to have had this very talented pupil see fade away and not knowing how famous he is nowadays. 